Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We just had a tremendous war. We've got a whole bunch of, uh... A whole bunch of, um, trade routes goofed, because a bunch of, uh, countries are... Well, I think it might just be the French who are embargoing us. Oh, no, Spain's embargoing us, too. Dang. I should take a treaty port there. Oh, well. Um, let's do a little bit of nation management here. Just to make sure that things are good. So we are building in all these places. Cash flow is just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and repeal these consumption taxes. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that authority to enact road maintenance and suppression decrees. Wow, this costs very little authority. My goodness. President Europe is just incredible. Let me see. What's reducing that cost? 25% from ambitious. And 20% from imperious. That's incredible. Large numbers of Nuer people immigrating. Wonderful. So that means these areas are actually reasonably build in which is nice. And that should help us get their, uh, their development underway. Um, let me see. Taxation capacity is short in Zulia. Let's flip the government admins over to telephone switchboards. Um, let's quickly do a pass on, uh, budget. Let me see. We are short on MN capacity in Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Texas. We'll start with those. We're short on infrastructure in Pennsylvania as well. Not ideal. Railways are getting built, but let's build more. And then we'll swap over to switchboards here. Tennessee, I think we're also a little short. Also a little short on infrastructure. Okay, I guess I know what we need to be doing next. And we'll swap the government admins here as well. And then Texas will do the same. Infrastructure is looking good in Texas, so all we need to do is flip over the government admin. That's fine. Okay, don't need to spend more construction capacity on that. Aotearoa. Can't be bothered. The American people are turning inward. Without further ado, let's build ourselves a Panama Canal, shall we? It's going to take a long time. But actually not that much longer than it would normally be, so I'm feeling pretty good. So, I think our next aggression, by the way, is going to be to go after El Salvador, because El Salvador is actually all its own state. And it's... Uh, so that's going to be one more star on the flag. We're rapidly approaching our 100 stars goal. Um, so I think at this point I'm giving priority to easy targets, which I kind of always have been doing. Like, let's be real. Again, I don't want to annex you Indian territory. You're providing a place where my vast population of uh, Native American heritage pops can can live and not be discriminated, and that's very important to me. You're providing a good standard of living there, and things are generally going well despite various issues. You've got a positivist temple. Things are going a little bit weird ideologically. You've converted over to state atheism. That's weird. But, you know, I uh, fundamentally, I want to keep the Indian Territory, and I want to keep things rolling there because... I just think that's really important. It's really important to have a place where my Native American heritage pops can go. Afro-Antillian mass immigration. Wonderful. And where better than Oklahoma? So, Austria. How are you feeling towards me? You're still neutral. I would love it if we could have a trade agreement. 
I think having a lot of rivalries actually has proven to be a pretty solid game plan for me, just on account of, like, all this extra uh, influence has provided a really solid base of uh, infamy reduction from which to work. Sorry, I need to do some, uh, some economic development in the secondary states in Venezuela, Miranda and Bolivar. So, I think first things first... Do either of you have opium capacity? No. What about Zulia? Do you have opium capacity? Looks like no. Well, that's a shame. So, you can always make money on steel mills. It's good to have steel. There's oil in these places. So I think once I've got some... I, I, I still don't think I've got a lot of good oil production methods. But let's look at how the market wants... Ooh, Greek mass immigration. Excellent. You know, I can live without this import route for clothes. I think that will help stimulate domestic industry. So let's go ahead and get some textile mills built in Miranda. And then some in Bolivar as well. Infrastructure is available. Turmoil is high, but it is what it is. But the infrastructure is solid. Alright, so that should be fine. Um, and then next, before we do anything else, we'll do... Oh, barracks need to be on NCO Incorporation. That's going to let them train faster, and that's really important. Oh, right! I can get coal-fired power plants. No, shut up. It's going to be more efficient. What is my coal situation? Coal situation is... Coal situation is I'm going too fast. Uh, coal situation is... Coal is reasonably expensive, so that is a thing I can build up. How is West Virginia? Coal mines are pretty much maximally employed here, so let's go ahead and max them out. We won't max them out completely, but we'll throw another 30 in there. That's going to take 60 infrastructure, and that's going to be fine. So where else have we got coal mine capacity? Should have plenty in the United States. Might be able to build some in the Indian Territory. If there's capacity in Oklahoma, which there is. So let's go ahead and throw 10 levels in there. Um, they got plenty of infrastructure to live with that, so we'll live with that. And that should be enough economic development to go along with. So, uh, I think... Next, let's just go ahead and grab El Salvador before things get something makes this impossible. Uh, only Great Britain and Mexico will will be involved, so we'll just go ahead and quickly knock this right out. Predictably, they said no, but I don't need to worry about that. We'll mobilize the army of the Isthmus and just put them right there. I don't think anyone's going to get involved in this. Uh, 16th American army... Oh, we got some... So we're going to get rid of these armies. So these are the leftover um, armies from these uh, countries that were annexed. I'm going to hit the Upgrade All Units button, and that's going to make them just fine. I can bring in either Great Britain or Mexico. Neither of them can stand against me, so I'm not going to worry about any of that business. And we'll just kind of let this finish out. I'm not at all worried. They don't have much of an army. Uh, and anyways, they're irregulars, so... Against our squad infantry, I'm more than confident in our ability to win that fight. Shortage of mana wars. Uh, sort of shocking there's someone still using mana wars in this day and age. In 1913, to fight naval battles, but it is what it is. Wow, standard of living has gone way up. That's excellent. I wonder um, how that ended up happening, because I sure didn't. <laughs> it sure wasn't my 
high class, uh, excellent management of the United States. I tell you what. Peasant revolt in Selangor, not my business. The situation in Senegal, also not my business. But we'll watch. We'll just watch. I don't think there's going to be much, though. All right. How's Uluru doing? Now that Uluru has got itself freed, what's the population looking like in these other areas? It's, things are still pretty rough over there. And again, you're in the French market. Can I build farms in some of these other states? Yes. I can. Wonderful. And I can build railways too. What about South Australia? There's capacity available. And there's the camera. Excellent. Let's go ahead and flip our arts academies over to using photographic art. So that's going to make them much more productive. And hopefully profitable. Hopefully profitable as well. Let's see. Proletarian revolt in Serbia. That's interesting. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to reach the area, so I can't do anything about that. Wow, Egypt took over all of Tripolitania. That's pretty good. There's the war with El Salvador starting. I'm predicting this will be done really, really fast. I got a lot of notifications over here. I, <laughs> I have to admit, I'm kind of just gunning for the canal company. There's San Salvador. Wonderful. We will just go ahead and reset production methods from here. And what is the situation looking like here? We have some peasants and some unemployment. Uh, let's go ahead and increase the size of the textile mills to start. Commence incorporation. We've got capacity for infrastructure. So things are looking pretty good. Uh, we'll throw our same two decrees in here as we've had uh, in those other areas just to make sure that the buildup gets built up in a reasonable time frame. Okay, things seem to be to be all set in Nicaragua. Australian mass immigration, wonderful. Chile sides with Brazil, excuse me. What is happening over here? A communist revolt in Brazil, you say? Well, that is very interesting. The temptation is extremely high, in fact, to side with them. But I think, I think I'm going to leave it out of this. Uh, Brazil and I have had our disagreements, and I don't necessarily desire a communist regime over there. So we'll probably leave that be. Religious revolt in Mahra. That's in the Russo sphere. Shouldn't get involved with that. Tidor, Tidor, my friends. Would you like to become a subject? No? All right, very well. Clear neutrality about that. Uh, another one going on in Sambas. Got a truce with Italy, so I can't get involved in a way that would matter. So we'll leave that be. I don't know. The temptation is very high to help the communist Brazilians. But on the other hand, I don't particularly desire any sort of situation... They're, and they're not going to give me anything I really want, so we'll just we'll be neutral about that. The men on the street. Disagreements between the petite bourgeoisie and the intelligentsia are causing conflicts in the government. It might seem radical to you, but if you read the theory, I'd be surprised if you can find a single flaw. One thing I've one thing I've learned from running a business is that experience beats even a flawless theory when you try to put it into practice. 
Um, I think once again, I'm going to insult the uh, intelligentsia on this one. Um, just because, like, I don't want to lose the authority, and the intelligentsia are extremely happy with the regime right now. So I'm feeling pretty confident in my ability to get away with that without having any problems. Um, I do have a truce with Mexico, which means I can't go after them right now. I don't have a truce with Benin, so I could I could annex Benin. Oh no, I can't. I need to wait until their autonomy goes down. 37% chance they'll say yes. If they don't, could be a large situation. On the other hand, what's the situation with Oyo? I do have a truce with them for another three years. This is interesting. If I get... Oh my goodness, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, it's not happening the way I thought it was happening. The fascist French Empire. Okay, so we've got three Frances here. We've got... Oh no, the French Commune just bailed. Weird. The French Commune just collapsed. The Paris Commune. Okay, so the fascist French Empire doesn't seem like they're doing a lot of fascism over here. If I... They are doing censorship, but that's not the most extreme form of free speech repression. And then, of course, there's... They're a wealth-voting parliamentary republic, as opposed to the French Empire, which is a wealth-voting monarchy. This is really over elected bureaucrats? How curious. Well. Be interesting to thaw relations with France. Let's see what the fascist French would offer us. Um, we are currently no longer getting a pile of cash from Great Britain. I can't offer support because I've got a truce. I can't get involved. Well, that is a real tragedy because things are getting silly in France and I just want to take advantage of it for the glory of the United States. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? I, I can't imagine any way that it would be, but you know how things go. Seems like a good time to increase the size of our navies. Naval reform is important. Um, Atlantic Fleet needs more dreadnoughts to replace those old ironclads because we're not going to get battleship anytime soon. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw in a bunch of levels. Uh, we'll do 10 in New York, 4 in New Jersey. Four in Massachusetts, a couple each in our other New English states, five in Virginia, five each in the Carolinas, five in Georgia, oop, we'll do ten in South Carolina because I misclicked and I don't feel like going back and fixing it, and then we'll do, how many more is that? That's 52 more, alright, so that'll be fine. Uh, and then we'll just get rid of the uh, dreadnoughts as or the ironclads as they go. I, I made dreadnoughts, right? I'm not making that up. Yes. We'll get rid of the ironclads as they go. So uh, I'm just going to throw all of these in at the top. We'll get them produced again extremely fast. You'll be surprised at how fast this cat can make battleships happen. Mm. I keep losing generals and whatnot. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at our uh, military situation. Let's make sure I'm not... Army of the Americas could use another general. A cruel offensive planner sounds perfect. Cruel and a moderate. That's perfect. Isthmus looking good. 
California, Great Plains, Andes, Dixie, West Africa, Second Coastal Defense Force, First Coastal Defense Force, uh, First and Third Coastal Defense Forces need more guys. Uh, Cautious Pillager, Lines of the Armed Forces, very good. Second, Chobash Mass Immigration, excellent. To figure out where those people live. Ooh, we got a Brave Defensive Strategist. And then finally, the Army of Central Africa has two leaders. Okay, Chobash, hold on. They said they're Turkic uh, in descent. So I'm going to guess either very close to Turkey or somewhere in Central Asia. This area, I've been told, is essentially the most uh, ethnically diverse part of the world. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Oh, look at that! It's the... Um, I wonder if that's the... No, I think the... Was it the Rostov Germans? I forget. There's a community of Germans that was uh, intentionally settled in Russia in the 19th century. Um for the sake of bringing in a lot of, uh, a lot of skilled labor and stuff. All right, so what about these areas? Hmm, I thought from the name, Karazmia would have been a good bet, but obviously I'm wrong about that. Well, this is embarrassing. Hold on, I might be able to find their ethnic homelands using the Culture Explorer tab. Let me see, Chauvash. Primary culture in USA, no. 14% worldwide. Can I get a breakdown of where? Migration targets, Mississippi. Homelands, Chebuxery. And where would you be? Oh, I was completely looking in the wrong area. The Chabash people live here, east of Nizhny Novgorod, and... Let me see. So this is Samara. This is... Okay, here we go. So here's Yaroslavl, here's Moscow. So east of Moscow, but not all the way to the Urals, is the homelands of the Chauvash people. Cool. Very cool. Uh, they're discriminated in Russia, I assume? Yes, because they're Turkic. Unless Russia is pursuing a policy of multiculturalism, which I do not think they are. Certainly are not. Who's leading Russia now? Alexander Romanov. Well, I guess that's not shocking. Surprised it's not Nicholas yet, given that it's 1914. Ooh. Things are kicking off in Belgium as well. Uh, this one's... Anhalt? No. Bhutan? No. But Belgium. Belgium, my friends. I have a truce with you until 1918. Were you in that last war? I suppose you must have been, right? What other war would it have been in? One of my other wars. I, I, I say that like I'm, I've only fought one war, and that is absolutely not the case. The joint front becomes the Imperial Circle. Italy succeeded in a power struggle with the French Empire to become the new bloc leader of the Imperial Circle. Well, that is fascinating. Italy, you sly dog. Emperor Marco Chiavis, you sly dog. He did it. What a wild man. Yeah, we're building coal mines in West Virginia. We've been we've been doing that, that's for sure. All right. And what else? We got more diplomatic plays kicking off every hour of every day. The Free Commerce Committee has been formed by the French Empire. Well, that is curious. 
Uh, this one's in North Germany, and once again, it's not any of my business. And this one I have to be neutral on because I couldn't, uh, couldn't possibly align with Belgium against their own rebels. I will say, Great Britain's been remarkably solid, uh, in the part of this, uh, of this playthrough. They haven't nearly collapsed almost at all, which is shocking, even though I've drained huge piles of cash out of their economy. It's been a real surprise. Saharabas Uprising? I don't know where that is. Where is this? Where are you? Ah, North Africa. Well, I guess that shouldn't surprise me. It looks like the French military revolt is winning. So I think that means this area will be made independent. Hey, there's electrical capacitors. So that's wonderful. Uh, that'll definitely open up some opportunities for automation as things go on, which I'm pretty excited about. French Empire is still not completely capitulated. French Empire claims Guyana. That's very interesting. A Haitian uprising. But where? In Guyana. Well, that's fascinating. The French military... Ah, here we go. Now leads the Free Commerce Committee. All right, interesting. So... Would it be too extreme if I just aligned with them? But on the other hand, I don't need to be friends with, to be enemies with the Free French Republic. But I would love to steal Guyana at some point. I can't get them as a subject. And France doesn't want my help, which, frankly, I understand. Let's get started with improving relations with the Free French Republic. If they decide to fight us, bully for, for them, but... And in the meantime, let's see what their market needs. They need cars, they need rubber, which we can definitely provide. Grain, oil, sugar. Rubber, grain, oil, sugar, and guns. Beautiful. So, rubber. So does the Italian market, frankly. Grain. Oil. Sugar. And guns. All right, nice productive set of trade routes to be going on with. Colonized Constantine. Interesting. Oh, because this happened and that area became... Oh, curious. Very curious. Uh, that area became a decentralized nation, so that's why they're able to colonize it without a problem. Alright, so what other... What other territorial ambitions do I have? Can't decide if I want to con if I want to reduce Benin's autonomy first, or if I want to conquer Oyo first. Obviously, conquering Liberia, annexing Liberia is also on the agenda. It's going to be 1.8 infamy to annex Liberia. Realistically, I really could, but um, I'm not yet in a position to annex Benin, so that's kind of why I want to do that that way. Benin is now reducing in liberty desire significantly, but I might, if I reduce their autonomy by infamy, that would of course set me back a couple of years from an infamy perspective, but on the other hand, ah, there are so many hands, so many decisions to be made. I think I'll maybe look into that next time. I'm starting to build up a little bit more of an infamy buffer, but at the same time, I do want to actually be 
you know... <laughs> I do kind of want to stop being hugely infamous. Like Britain has not done. Is France still infamous? I guess they're not, because they just had a massive revolution. So, you know, that simply is what it is. That's what happens. Maybe I should do that. Neat little way to, uh... Escape the foibles of the previous government. British East India Company is going for a protectorate over Surakarta. I don't know where that is. Where are you, Surakarta? Oh, yeah, you're here. You're right next to... Yagarkarta. Well, I should have known that. That's right, the Dutch East Indies has kind of suffered a Dutch East Indies explosion. Which means expansion opportunities for me. There's concrete dockyards. And finally, we have an event. Uh, violent suppression leads to discrimination. Well, that's not great. Radicals in American Chiapas seem to be getting support from discriminated Maya citizens within the state. Hmm. If they want to pr protest, then we should let them. We'll likely only make things worse if we try to force them to submit. If we have to deal with them in the future, they will all be in one place and much easier to take care of. We say where they can and cannot protest. Armed forces happier, extra radicals from discrimination. I'll let them protest where they want. Increased migration attraction. Slightly increased radicals from discrimination. Armed forces unhappy. Armed forces are pretty happy, but let's make them happier. I don't think there should be that much discrimination over there. I say, knowing full well that there probably will be. What if I steal Kanak? Kanak broke off from... There are a lot of targets over here, is what I'm saying. There are a lot of targets. But I think I need to hold off on that until the next episode, because we are getting on towards, uh, towards time. Actually, we're over time at this point. So, friends, I've had fun. I hope you've had fun. And I'll see you in the other, on the other side.